I guess it's kind of, uh, I feel almost a sadness looking at that because uh, it reminded me how much I enjoyed my job when I was uh, working at MT and how far I've gotten away from kids and the things in education that for me were really fun. Um, and that's what the video reminded me that, you know, maybe I should try to spend more time looking at ways to get back and, uh, to do more things with kids. Being in that setting over in Paradise Lane, and it was the first time I met you, and you were an administrator, a, a, school, a school nurse, but it wasn't like that. It was like that, ZD, you know, and it was just so casual and comfortable, and it wasn't like, you know, you go to the nurse to hand in your papers of, did you have your shots? You would come to us, and we would all just, you know what I mean? It was more like a family. It was so much more like a family than a school setting. I was thinking about how a lot of kids in the high school thought that we were kind of like potheads or other words, you know. Misfits. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and to look back now and to think, where are they? You know, I graduated college, you know, I got a BBA in management. I got two kids. I've been married for 11 years, going to be. So, you know, it's like I would like to see their faces on how we are now than what they thought we were then. You know what I'm saying? Looking at that film, it, you don't see any sign of, you know, drugs or being a pothead. I mean, it was so far from that act, in actuality. The things, um, I mean, we could spend a 40-minute class um, helping one per person who may have a problem, and then we all, somebody needs to talk, and we all, like, are there to support just one person. I mean, it was the furthest thing that and most people would say, what is this? I'm here to do my social studies. But it was just so important at the time. I think a lot of us needed to be there for the support. I know I didn't say, hey, I want to go to Mazel to learn anything in particular. I needed to be where somebody was there for me. And it was everybody was there for me, and I was there for other people. It was... It was a major support system for a lot of people. And you still learn whatever you have. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You still, you learn important things that you definitely would learn in high school. Like somebody that I said. I think that the kids now in high school should learn because, I mean, we thought our times were rough. I mean, it's rough That's now. right. And, it's and how can you learn when your family's falling apart right. and you have nobody to go to mm -hmm. and you're just feeling so crappy within yourself? That's where drugs come in. If you don't go to school and have this family for you, this support system, that's when you don't want to go to school. In the hallway, I said to Mitzi, I said, did they ever take attendance? Did we have a cut? I don't think we have a cut. Why would we want a cut? Where in high school, I was like <laughs> being followed around <laughs> because I was, what, didn't want to be there, you know? So um, it was, you wanted to be there and you wanted to learn. What was interesting, I was telling John before, was I put away, you know, we, when Mazel Tov were closed, a lot of the materials that we used, mm -hmm. a lot of the group activities and everything went in the closet. And, the, and within this last year, with some of the kinds of difficulties we're having with students in school, mm -hmm. we're starting to bring out the books and saying, well, you know, we use this mm -hmm. right. 15 years ago and this worked, and mm -hmm. it seems like this is the kind of stuff that I might work today. Yes. And it, it, it really amazed me, as you know. Um, we, we pulled out all the empty, we had that notebook with all the activities, and we're going through them again to see how we can integrate them into our counseling program. E, tell a um, story that you told me about the beach. That is such a great story. Yeah, I've been to the beach this summer, and there was a group of people there from Brentwood, and there was this young fellow, um, who was, I guess he's not so young now, but to me he's young, comes up and he's got a, a mohawk hair cut, and the, the mohawk is almost to his waist. Oh. So he's got um, tattoos all over him, and he's got a um, earring in his nipple. Oh! And he comes to me, and he said, um, "Didn't you teach in Brentwood?" And I said, "Yes." He said, "Weren't you at that that Mazel Tafel school?" And I said, "Yes." I said, "You know, did you ever go there?" He said, "No." He said, "I thought about it." He says, "But you know, the people there were really weird." Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
everybody. I'm just reading, if I could go back. Uh, you know, I always thought, oh, I, I'm too shy, I'm not getting it. I wouldn't want to go back. I've learned too much from Maslow, <laughs> and it's coming out. Well, I'm sure Evie knows that with me. In my later life, all the qualities I got from it. Also, uh, thinking back about the unfairness to Maslow Tantra, uh, that's helped me a lot with being fair with people mm -hmm. and making sure I know all the facts before. Ah, oh, that, that always bothered me. And uh, that's helped me a lot, too. But seeing that took me right back. Oh, oh so did. easy I went back. Yeah. Oh, that, that was a nice feeling. Because it was a comfortable place. Yeah. yeah. You know, all the, the plays and the Christmas shows, we never bothered with that stuff at the high school. I remember bringing my mother, bringing, I want everyone to come with me. It was like, a great, it was a great place to be. You wanted, every, you wanted everyone to share it. Somebody was commenting um, that they remembered that one of the memories, oh, it was Helen, who said she remembers when your mother came to a forum one time and spoke. And she, and Helen has exactly. never forgotten. She said she made such a profound impact. I don't even remember, I don't remember that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure she did. She was very supportive yeah. of it. You know, it's funny um, talking about that. I, since I got the letter in the mail, and um, I discussed with my children, you know, the high school and where it's going, because they knew that two years ago I didn't go to the high school. Um, what do you call it? Ross? To the um, reunion. 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 So I said, you know, mommy's going to her high school where she went. I explained it all. And, um, you know, you know what the first thing that comes to mind is we didn't have any desks. We didn't really use any textbooks, right? So that's what I figured they could relate to that part of it. And then they said, oh, wasn't grandpa embarrassed? <laughs> so when my father came over a day later and I said to him what the kid said, he said, no, you know. What, why would I be? And it's just funny to hear a, a child's point of view. And I was um, happy to hear my father's views on what he thought of it, because now I can listen to him and listen clearly, you know? Do you know, Lee, that's why I left in, I know it made it very long, but I left in Toffler's talking, and I left in the, 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 the Bill Boggs interview with, the, with the mm -hmm. John Dewey, and I left in uh, the educators that were on that Spotlight special talking because I thought, you guys were 17 years old. You're looking at it differently. That's now right. you're That's going to right. hear this, and it's going to mean something very different to you mm -hmm. when you look at the, the fuller picture. Well, now that I'm this close to being a teacher, I do see it in a much, and, and seeing the video brought a lot of it back, of the, the whole picture. When you're a kid, and in my position, I just was looking for a way to get through high school because of in here, you know? And now I see the big picture. It's much different. What do you mean you're this close to being? Teaching? I'm a junior and I'm in college doing my student te um, doing my student teaching. So I'll be a teacher in a year. Wonderful. Yeah. So um, I I do see and and like what Edie was saying, even in the elementary level, there's so much more um, focus on the child's emotional well-being. I mean, yes, it's important to teach the math and all, but. If that child needs a hug, you give them a hug and it'll make their day go so much easier. You know, they need that support. And um, I guess a lot of that's come out of MT, too, for me. That's wonderful. Great news. And Mitzi, you have, you have two children. Two kids, two, two boys, nine and seven. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was just thinking about when we went to the Poconos, remember all of us, we went up there. Oh, yeah. And it was so funny, even if we didn't see that person till Sunday on the bus in the afternoon, it was good to know that they were just there, that we could, you know what I'm saying? That was a good feeling. And it's sad because a lot of kids, they don't get that from their own family. And it was good that if we didn't get it from our family, we got it at school, you know? That's, that's in. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. That's right. Yes, and I, I just that became very important. That's right. When whose ever birthday it was, it was, it was right. the cake. That's right. Believe it or not, I still have everybody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's so funny. And the bumper stickers on there. I sold like a yeah. hundred and that got me to Great Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I washed cars. I don't know how many cars. Oh, remember? do you I remember? I washed so many cars. We <laughs> got in trouble because we had some of the girls out in the street with their bikinis on trying to get the people to come to the car wash and they made us stop. <laughs> Just for your information, that was in last week's video, the 79. You'll see yourself yes, in all right. the car washes that's, and, the, yeah, that's and the trip to the Pocono. Oh, good. That's great. Right. That's funny. All the, the Pocono trips. Yeah, that was a good one. The funny thing is, I don't remember a camera being on so often. I know, right? I don't remember that. I don't no, remember. Yeah, yeah, where the heck were you? We, we had, I didn't do it. You didn't do it. We no, had, was there were students yeah. always for, yeah, in, in photography classes. Yeah, there were students yeah. in media. Yeah. Uh, but because we had our pictures up all over the place, yeah. self-image was very important. Right. Mirrors yeah. and photographs yeah. and, and movies and being like, comfortable talking to people before groups, presentations. And how all of that, is that was all part of it and it was all almost, you were unaware of it after a while. But it, so that's why it was yeah, important to do something with all of this. It was part of it.